guys, Yvette Cinema here. Um, I decided I'm going to come on and do a demonstration because there are a number of videos um, that I do creating journals where I'm using my black and white prints and I've recently developed a love of Indian inks and I've discovered Yupo paper, which is... Um, a polypropylene it is literally plastic paper and when you use Yupo paper with Indian ink and a combination of water and ammonium <clears throat> or ammonia you can buy ammonia anywhere I got mine at Walmart and I just get a container and dilute it so half ammonia and half water so I have a little spritzer bottle with ammonia and I've got one with just plain water I've got a spritzer bottle with some black ink in it I've also got a variety of brushes I have my bamboo brushes a sponge and this old like hair dye brush and then um, I'm using Indian ink today and I've got a bucket of water so I can rinse my brushes and I also have clean water because I'm going to apply clean water to my um, Yupo paper. I'm just dunking the tip of my ink here into water to kind of clear it up because it starts getting plugged up. But I just want to show you some of the effects and I'm just going to do mark making and... So I'm using a clean bamboo brush and I'm just going to, you know, make some marks. And I'm going to take my ink and just spray it. And you'll see how it is literally just dispersing the ink where it wants to go following my brush stroke. And it's so cool because it's like you're painting blind just it's it's a really nice way of doing some expressive work and then getting these neat neat effects now I'll just let this literally sit and kind of do its thing it's going to dry with these nice little neat things in there now I'm going to go through paper like there's no man's land here let me put that aside to dry and I want to show you some other effects that we can do. So I'm gonna this time take some Indian ink here and do some marks. Maybe I'll use a fatter brush because it'll be easier for you guys to see. So whoops I want to get some marks of ink. Now I'm going to use my ammonia and spray. And then what I do, I get my little credit card and scrape the ink off and you get this kind of like bizarre effect where it still keeps your brush marks but where the ammonium was, it's lifting it from the paper. So you're getting, you know, a variety of textures. And you can move your credit card across the page and just see what kind of interesting things will happen. So this will dry up. And when I do this kind of thing, I like to come back and rework it with some, like, solid inks. So I'll show you that in the middle, in the middle, in a minute. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. But the parts that's dry, I'm just going to spritz some ammonia on it. And you will see how these little textures are starting to form where the ammonia is. And if you just leave it, it'll dry and you can rework it. But look how neat that is. See all those cool textures? So there, this is a way you can, um, like, if you want to draw something, I like to do this just expressive ink work. I don't, uh-oh, 
I don't like to get into like detailed drawings with it because I do that so much in my painting. This is just where I can loosen up. But you can certainly like if you want to, you know, you're into um, drawing animals, draw an animal with ink and then get that ammonia and spritz it and you'll get some really interesting effects. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray my paper with some ink. I'm going to spray the ammonia. And then I am going to get one of my brushes and just draw some marks, you know, wherever my brush feels like drawing. And I'll take my credit card and do like a swoosh down. And I'm just going to play with the surface. Another thing that you can do with um, Yupo ink is you can use just regular white glue to make designs. And I'm going to do one on here, which I'll show you later. But if you just get your white glue and draw some designs like so, I'm just doing it in the corner and let that dry. You're gonna let the glue dry. You can put ink on top of it and then lift the glue once it's dry and then you'll get like white designs or the gray designs underneath. And it's really cool. So we'll have to get back to that one, but I'm gonna set that aside. And then I wanna show you how we can get the effect of like a negative. Because I think this is really neat. I really like doing this. So I'm going to get some black ink and just get it on the surface of my paper up here. And as I come down here, I just want to kind of get some lines in here, some texture. Okay, so let's just let that sit for a minute and get dry. And it does dry pretty quickly. Just going to try to help it out here a minute. You can use a blow dryer. If you're using a blow dryer, make sure it's on a low heat and you're not too close to it because it is plastic and it will melt. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I want this to dry up a little more is I'm going to spray some ammonia and I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to like draw a circle. Oh, you know what I forgot? I, I had some Q-tips. I'm just going to take my brush or a piece of paper towel here and draw a circle. Okay. So we're just going to kind of let that dry for a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my credit card down the page. And look at how you get that really neat negative effect. And you can slightly see, you can crisscross, go in what direction you want, but you can see... And you can go back in and do like um, a design here to kind of remove it. But you can see the design that I had done underneath. But look at how it just sets in a little bit. 
and gives you that negative effect. If I spray a little more ammonia, I can get some little speckles in there and then I can do this again and look how it'll just kind of like wash up some of that ink where I sprayed the ammonia. And look at the effect that you get. I mean, there are unlimited possibilities with this Yupo paper. I'm just, I'm so in love with it. And you can go in after, like I have um, some ink, a little bit of ink left on my brush here. I can go in after and just add, you know, additional markings. I could spray a little bit more ammonium to get a little more of that you know, kind of, what's it called, speckled look. If you spray the ammonium and just dab, it starts removing the color. So you get that just really cool negative look that I just love. I think it's so neat and it's so unpredictable. You'll never get the same thing twice. But I love doing this, and what I'll do is when this is dried, I'll go and do the back side too. I'll flip it. And then I cut these pages down, and I create little art journals with my artwork in it. And um, that's why I'm doing this demonstration, because there is a journal in particular where I did use, you know, my Yupo ink drawings in. And I really... You know, I'm sure that you guys are interested in how I get that particular effect. This is one of the papers that I said I was going to set to dry. There's a little bit of water still on the surface, but most of it is dried. So what I'm going to do is just take my credit card and wipe away the excess. And it's just going to do its thing, but... What's really neat is I've got this amazing background and now I can go over and do, you know, a darker mark in ink. I might flip it this way and I get my little sponge brush in there and I'll do, you know, a marking, say like that. And I like to do this to get a layered effect. And the nice thing is if you want to play some more, you spray some ammonium. But if you don't like what you got going on, just spray ammonia and you can wash all this off and start with a fresh piece of Yupo paper. So I buy my Yupo paper on Amazon I have a link on my website of what I find the best deal is and I'm going to show you as I talk just another way here of using this um, so that if you want to go in and try Yupo paper go on to my website evetsinamon.com under art supplies and I'll have a link to what I find is the best price. Uh, okay, so I've just put some pure ink. I'm going to spray some ammonium and then I'm going to take my spray bottle that has ink in it and just do a little splatter. Just going to let that dry. And you can see as it's drying where the ammonium ended up is starting to disperse. Like you're getting these little um, like daubles and watermarks. And it's really fun to watch, you know, what ends up happening. And then what you can do is just in some areas, go ahead and just do some scraping and follow some of your marks so you get additional texture like that. 
Now I want to show you one more technique, which is one of my favorites. So fun. It's a really fun to watch. It's like magic. <laughs> okay. So you're going to get a clean brush and you're just simply going to use clean water. And you're going to make your marks however you want. And then you're going to take, whoops, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. You're all out of focus. Come back to me. Okay, so I just used my water, made marks. I can barely, I can't even see where the marks were. But if you just kind of move your head down so that you see where the water is, and you just dab your brush in certain areas, you can make lines. Just make sure it's where the water is and you will see that the paper will it's just let it do its thing. It's going to follow only where the water was and create a really nice effect. It just kind of will start spreading. You can add more if you want. The water's starting to dry up, but I'm just looking to see where it's still wet so I can add some dollops. Look at how it just disperses. So cool. And there's another fun way. Let's do like a circle down here or something. I'll make sure it's really wet so you guys can see. And then I'm going to take my ink. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And just let it do its thing. And the nice thing is when this is dry, you just go over and make more marks over it. So that one's going to have to go to the side to dry up. But this one, this is the first one that I did. And now that this is dry, I can go in and do, you know, some more brush strokes. And get some more textures like that and you can just build it up so there's lots of fun things to do you can stay simple like this or you can start getting really creative let me bring this back because I want to show you how I'm going to just add some more ink on top some dark ink I'm gonna spray with ammonium it's gonna start fleckling when it's dry and I'm gonna start pulling my ink you can just play with it on the paper And you get a nice variety of blacks and whites. You could have it as dark or as light as you want. And I'm constantly just playing like spraying, adding more ink to see, you know, what happens when you use the ink over the ammonium. It starts to separate and just have fun playing. And I've done this over and over and I just end up with something really black like this and I still love it. And you can go in after, take um, a Q-tip with some ammonium and draw. I mean, there's so many different 
things that you can do. Sometimes when I get something like this, I want to go in after and just add some really dark areas, like really, really black when it's dry. But it's just fun to play with. You can darken up some areas. You can make some scratchy marks too, like if you got the black in here and you want to get a brush like this and just kind of pull down. It's just plain. You can do um, drippy marks as well. Let it do your thing. Dabble. You get all kinds of textures. And that's it. Just play. That's what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick little tutorial. Or it's not really a tutorial, but a little demonstration on how you can use, you know, Yupo paper or Indian ink on Yupo paper and you can get, you know, some really nice negative effects or you can do pure black on white. Um, you can use, you know, grayscale. There's so many things that you can do. And I just, I'll just keep working this and playing with it because I just love the effects that I get even just here after I it starts drying and you start wiping it away you can see you know the marks where it was pulled down but some of it is still there so I'll just keep working this until I've got a plethora of um, ink drawings so hope you guys enjoyed it and um, this will it'll be nice to understand and see once you see my you put ink drawings in my journals, you know, how I was able to accomplish that look. Okay, so we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.